What's up, guys? I have the iPhone 8 Plus here today from AT&T Network, and I'm going to show you how you can unlock or factory unlock these bad boys. So let's get to it. So the big three reasons for factory unlocking your iPhone is number one, it actually saves you a lot of money when you're going traveling because you don't have to pay roaming fees. Number two, you can actually just move carriers because you found a better plan. And finally, number three, this actually increases the resale value of your phone when you're trying to sell it secondhand. To test whether or not your iPhone is locked, simply insert a non SIM, SIM card and you're either going to get this message here, SIM not supported, or it's just simply going to work. So basically there are four steps. Place an order on sellmocker.net, wait for your unlock, then insert your SIM card and it's going to be factory unlock. Next, let's head on over to sellunlocker.net and we're going to scroll down and select iPhone from the left panel. Scroll down to step one in this box and we're going to put in iPhone 8 plus AT&T and we're going to get the IMEI number from dialing star pound 06 pound. Please make sure your IMEI number is 100% correct. So then just hit look up code and review your information, fill out your personal information in step two and then place your order. So as you can see, I've received an email from soundlocker.net letting me know that my iPhone is finally unlocked. At this point, all you have to do is insert a non SIM card and make sure that your Wi-Fi is connected. All right, let's get our SIM tray pin that came with your iPhone in the box and eject the SIM tray from the iPhone. Here, I also brought out my non-accepted SIM card that I'm trying to move to. Let's reinsert the SIM tray back into the iPhone. So you might see some standard error messages that may pop up, but don't worry about this. So as long as your iPhone is connected to Wi-Fi, it's going to try to attempt to communicate with the activation servers. So here the iPhone is asking for the activation lock, which is basically your Apple ID and password. But I was a little lazy, so I'm just going to use my lock code. And sometimes it's going to ask you for the passcode, maybe a few more times. I mean, I'm pretty sure I got that passcode right, I think. And boom, we are done. So we're back into the home screen and immediately you can see the new carrier connected with signal bars. This is a clear indication that your phone is now communicating with a foreign SIM card. And just to let you know, this factory unlocking is permanent, so you don't have to worry about ever getting locked again. And just for kind of demonstrational purposes, older iPhone generations uh, do require an additional step to factory unlocking. What I mean by this is you need to plug it into your computer or laptop running iTunes. But regardless of whether or not you're trying to unlock a new iPhone or an old iPhone, you still have to get the factory unlocking services completed on the back end. And that is only done through companies such as sellunlocker.net in order for you to get the results. And that concludes the unlocking tutorial. So I do hope that this video has been of assistance to you as you try to unlock your iPhone today. And if you did find this video helpful, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thank you and have a good night.